Hello, here's a video in which I, Nick, will show you an overview of my LEGO Bionicle Mark Alternate Roxy. So here is the Alternate Vaki that I created and made a over, an overview of uh, a while ago. And um, now I all, uh, this one was inhabited by the Makuda. So the Makuda went to the Alternate Universe. And, and in the alternate universe, he took over one of the Vaki robots. And uh, then, with his new disguise and very, very modern Vaki robot armor, uh, he went back to the original universe to be evil and stuff. Uh, but uh, in this new form, he also creates uh, Krana and Raxi that are based on the ones of the. Uh, alternate universe and so uh, here is one of these Raxi Ta -da. so this is one of the alternate Raxi that are created by the alternate Vaki Vaki uh, Makuta Tyridax and damn it. Um, my mom was there. Uh, like, uh, did you find what you were looking for? And she got me all out of my concentration. Um, so uh, this is one of the alternate Raxi. Um, so here's a full angular view of it. Don't have a spinning table or anything. I just have the power to turn it around <laughs> with my hands. Um, I actually got the idea to build this by wanting to make some kind of alien species that was a crossbred between a penguin and a mammal. And I really don't know why, but it's just I just threw some toothpaste in. Well, and. Yeah, actually I have no idea how I got to make this thing, uh, but here is the uh, mug. So, uh, you could probably wonder where is the Krana in this thing. Well, the Krana are also different from the ones of the main universe. As the Krana in this universe are as big as this here. So, the Krana in that universe are also biomechanical and they are not only uh, big but they also got this uh, giant uh, well this uh, this big um, biomechanical spine uh, running out their backs with some uh, gears and some other mechanic stuff uh, which is actually the only Mechanic stuff they got and the rest of this is all uh, Biological and here are their legs the rate of movement these can either act as wings or as legs to stand on the ground and This way uh, You got a whole fighting Krana Which is actually just as big as the Jello uh, Raxi from the main universe of Bionicle um, he can stand on his wings and act like a warrior or he can fly. Uh, he has a full Raxi staff which he only gets when he get, uh, uh, when he first gets his Raxi body. Uh, so they are born with just the arms and then later on they get staff and the whole uh, base which is mechanical. Uh, here are four legs. It is based on a penguin and some kind of rodent, like I said, which I got inspiration from from some toothpaste that I dropped, and that's looked like something like that. Now it also has four legs. I don't know why, but I think it looks good. Uh, I made uh, a very round-like body base here with some of these borax shells. And one, some of these old, uh, enormous hands from the slicer all the way down. Uh, then there are some socket joints here on which the legs are attached. Uh, the legs are these Hordica 
um, Hortica uh, moving arms pieces, shoulder pieces, and then the uh, uh, Samor spear launcher uh, adaptions to hold more of the spears. And uh, these form the legs with some coverage here uh, made from these slicer feet um, to fill in some space so it doesn't just stick out but it really has some uh, robot uh, um, wrists and uh, a joint, robot, robotic joints here. Uh, then on that there are uh, some of these old slicer limbs and on that we just got a base for the granite we put on so when the crown is put onto this uh, he simply moves around his uh, his spikes or wings and then he lands onto the roxy base and now you got some kind of a Krana warrior, a Roxy warrior on four legs. They are actually pretty agile for what they look like because uh, there are uh, some kind of energy rocket boosters in their legs making them able to jump really high and run actually really fast and make some of acrobatic movements uh, uh, that you wouldn't expect of them. But when they just walk, they walk actually really slow with these legs. But they can really, uh, in combat, they can be really agile for what you would expect from them. Um, I made him look. Uh, I need to put this aside here. Yay! Uh, I made him look a, lo uh, a lot in style wise like the Faki Makuta of the Ultimate Universe. Uh, there are some uh, things they have in common like the uh, slim ball joint upper arms and these blades. Uh, there. These are the blades that represent the universe, uh, the alternate dimension they come from. Uh, they're all black and they're really modern. They're really innovating and uh, So these are the style uh, they have in common. So this is how the Vaki looks from that uh, red universe and this dimension and this is the Raxi how they look like in the uh, dimension and uh, It's also the Krana I could make more of them like Borok but uh, story wise it won't really fit as the Makuda Tyrodex got one of the Vaki and traveled to the main universe of my storyline, the dimension of my storyline which is also an alternate dimension. So they go in alternate dimension of an alternate dimension actually. And these are the Raxi he creates in this form. Uh, he he isn't really the one that creates the Borgs, I think, so it wouldn't really make sense for these to also be here. But for now, I do have a Roxy and a Makuda. And uh, so it is a four legged Roxy with rocket boosters on the legs uh, with a staff. I don't know what power this staff represents. And uh, uh, what it can do with it, but it is a staff. The crown have arms in this universe and wings, which can act like legs, which are stylized for the universe. And here is a uh, robotic spine for the crown, and here's the head of the crown, which looks just like a rack head from the main universe. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back again someday. Um, I'll also need to make a new overview of this guy here uh, because the previous one was really flash like, <laughs> uh, like. Uh, so that's it for now my time is almost up for uh, when the camera stops so thanks for watching I'll make more mocks and then this is it for now so bye bye